Alibaba's IPO is expected out this year at some point. I don't know if you're expecting it at a specific time. And, you know, I wasn't sure if you thought there was still some opportunity there in that sector, in the IPOs that have come in the Internet space, or if it's just too overpriced. Definitely Alibaba has been getting a lot of attention. There's a lot of excitement because, as I said, in this Internet space, usually as we've seen in the U.S., usually the biggest names usually win. Right. Win. And Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu seems to be like the three big gorillas in the room. And that's where people are basically betting they're going to be the ultimate winners as Internet grow and penetration grows. And what are you doing with your funds in China? Are you, do you think you'll get involved in Alibaba? Or yeah, I mean, as I said, the sectors and the stock we like to invest in is where we feel like uh, its uh, corporate governance is good, so we're not dependent on government policies as mm -hmm. much as possible as well as owners who are shown historically that they've been friendly to shareholders. We have exposure to some internet names in China where we feel like these uh, good companies as well, they are winning market share mm -hmm. and are the leaders in what they do because the second best usually it's not good enough. The broad index is, if you look at it on a chart, it looks so oversold and like uh, almost right. nearing a bottom because it's dominated by these sectors and companies that today investors are avoiding and the minorities like the uh, Macau gaming and the internet names that are rallying are not big enough to make the, to push the sector higher so that's for me so for the for a US investor who wants to buy into China most likely they have to have a, f a view about these uh, the banking sector and the structural problems in China and then when they feel comfortable that the worst have been seen then this is the time for them to to do then it. it's time to buy. Otherwise, buy yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe they're better off with a diversified mutual fund who will selectively pick what he or she thinks is attractive in China.